Hello friends, welcome to the 6th episode of HTML tutorial series. In the previous lesson, we have learned that how to link our uh, page or external website. So we have linked uh, episode 1 which is our HTML page and also we have linked our uh, YouTube channel in new window. So in this episode, I will explain that how to uh, display image in your web page. So let's start. So let's create a new file that is episode 6. Save episode6.html. Now we will copy the HTML structure from existing one and episode 6 image. So now to display image in your HTML page, you have to use img tag. So, the same tag as br tag. Remember in br tag, we have not used like this. So, how we have used br like this. So, in case of image tags, same thing img like this we will use. So, now let us write this one and go to open this our page into the Firefox or any other browser. So now here you can see a broken image. Image is not coming. Why? Because we have not specified that which image we want to display. That means image tag require another attributes. So what are the attributes? That is source. So here you have to tell the source path of the image. So let's copy image to this folder. Let's take another image, any image. So we can take this one. Now go to the HTML website section. So here is the image. So let's copy this file name with the extension name. Okay. Now in the source, we will paste this one. Now let's go to the browser and refresh our page. Now here we can see the image is coming, but image is too much big. So now how we can control the image height and width? Okay. So now here another attribute we can use the width. So if we mention width, now refresh the page. So here you can see width and the height we have not specified but browser automated calculated. Now same thing if we mention height 500 pixel and let's go to the browser and refresh this page. Now here you can see height is 150 but the width browser automatic taken and you can also mention the height and width both width that is 500 so let's go to the browser and refresh your page so now here you can see 500 by 500 now if the image is not exist or something like that image is not loaded so you want to display some text you can do this by using alternative text that is ALT this is bird image um, so let's uh, view one thing let's I'm renaming this page so actually this file is not exist so if I refresh this page I can see this icon but users will not able to understand that what is present here something is not displaying but what was present so you can mention this one using alternative text now if I save this and refresh this page so here you can see this is a bird when the image is not present or the image is not loaded then your alternative text will be display so that your user will understand that here was one bird image but it is not displaying due to his internet connection or the link 
is invalid so now if I rename this to original file name and if I save this and refresh so here we can see but the alternative text is not showing why because the image is displaying so when the browser will not found the image that time alternative text will be display okay so the tag is image tag to display in you have to use the attribute source to mention the image name or path okay and uh, there is different height and width parameter and also alternative text parameter now if this image inside a folder so let's move this file to images folder now if I go to the browser and refresh this page image gone this part image alternative text is displaying why because the image is not exist here so how we will specify the image path so now the we are in HTML 6 episode 6 now where is image located inside images folder so we have to give the path name images slash that is inside images so let's save this and refresh okay so if you have like more folder like B inside B there is C and now this image is inside C folder so now this link is not working because inside images B and then C folder and inside C folder your image is present so now if I refresh this page we can see the image is displaying so in this way you will specify your image path in the SRC so thanks for watching and if you have any confusion so please write below comment and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day